Hi guys, welcome back. This here is a GPU that I recently purchased, and while it looks practically new, it didn't exactly look like this when I got it. It wasn't nearly as bad as some that I've had, but it definitely needed a good cleaning. And as you can see, it cleaned up rather well. The clear plastic shroud isn't cloudy, and it has no cracks in it. If we take a look on the back, we can see this is the ATI Radeon X850 XT from 2004. Unfortunately, this isn't the Platinum Edition, but it's practically the same card with slightly lower core memory speeds. The cooling system draws air in from the intake over this nice copper heat sink and then it exhausts out the back where we find VGA, S-Video, and DVI connectors. This is the PCI Express version, but there is an AGP version as well. It's just harder to find for a decent price. So let's take a little trip into the past and see what we did to get this GPU to where it is now. Alright, good news is the card is installed and working. It's got the driver installed on there just to make sure it's going to hold up with the driver, so that means that I can go through now, get this thing taken apart, cleaned up, and then we can test it out. ATI launched the X800 series cards in 2004 and the X850 XT was the direct competitor to NVIDIA's 6800 GT with the Platinum Edition competing against the 6800 Ultra. This is a DX9 GPU built on the R480 die featuring 256 megabytes of GDDR3 on a 256-bit memory bus. The core on the XT is clocked at 520 megahertz and a memory at 540 and has a TDP rating of 69 watts. It seems almost silly when you look at a modern GPU, but in 2004, this was an actual beast. have it all back together looking nice and shiny and clean so I'm going to get it installed in the system an FX 8350 system and uh, we can put it through its paces so I installed the X850 XT into a Windows 7 system and it really should be in a Windows XP build I don't have one together right now so 7 will have to do but there were a couple issues there's no Windows 7 driver available the OS tells me I have an unsupported video device and I haven't been able to get any software like MSI Afterburner or even ATI tool to read the card's sensors, although GPU-Z does so I know the card and sensors are working. The GPU does get quite warm and the fans stay at a relatively low RPM which is pretty typical of the factory ATI fan curve. I think I have better luck setting a custom curve up with software under Windows XP so the testing won't be too intensive right now. With only 256 megabytes of VRAM, I did most of the testing at 1280 by 1024 resolution and just played through a short section of each game. In the future, I will get this into an XP build and do some more thorough testing, but for now, here are some gameplay captures to finish off the video. You guys take care out there, and I will see you on the next one.